I was trying to think of something exciting to do for today's video and I went ahead and went into a battle royale draft and I saw this Ronald Acuna Jr. card pop up and he's a really exciting and really fun player to watch in real life so I figured hey we could try drafting the most exciting players in every single round see how it goes so we're going for 199 and more likes on the video subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 45,000 subscribers comment anything down below maybe if you think that there were some rounds where i drafted someone who wasn't as exciting as somebody else let me know feel free to follow on any of those social medias as always we're going to be drafting the team and then trying to start off undefeated with that team i'm not gonna lie though ryan braun is pretty exciting to watch i'm from wisconsin i've seen him play in milwaukee a lot and the fans just love him there so it's always super exciting when he does well but i feel like acuna out of these four especially when there's gonna be legends and stuff i don't really know you know like i'm sure these guys were exciting to watch but i definitely know more about the current players and everything here in this round wow see i don't know i, I honestly do not know who i would choose on this maybe gerardo para because he's on the Nationals and they won the World Series. But I don't, I don't really know too much about any of these guys. I could also do like bronze and common rounds. You know, if, if I don't know, just go who I would normally pick. Stuff like that if I'm really not sure. And this round... Oh, man. I would say maybe Eloy Jimenez on the White Sox. I just... I, I feel... Oh, man. This is this might sound so stupid for some of these rounds and the stuff I'm going to say. I feel like Nick Markakis is just like... Kind of playing. I, I, he said something that made me like him more. I'm pretty sure. I feel like a few months ago and everything. But out of these guys, I feel like Eloy Jimenez is, is the most exciting. <sighs> Nick Mar Yo, the game wants me to draft Nick Markakis. I think Miguel Sano, man, part of the uh, the bomb squad on the Minnesota Twins, breaking that home run record. So let's go Miguel Sano right here. Troy Chilowitzki can maybe be him, except he, I feel like he's not as exciting anymore. He used to be. Uh, but is he, he's a free agent, right? He's even on a team now, so I'm not really sure. And in the bronze round, I, I'm going to just go with the lefty right here. Oh, yo. Bo Bichette, easy. Easy Bo Bichette right there. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Hmm. This is tough, okay? This is tough. I'm a Cardinals fan, so I'm going to be biased probably a little bit. But uh, I know people liked Keith Hernandez. Don't really know too much about Devin Travis. Giovanni Gallardo. I literally... Every Cardinal game I went to where he pitched versus the Cardinals back when he was on the Brewers, he just did terrible. I saw this man get booed by his own fans so often. So I feel like that makes him like the opposite of exciting. And Giovanni Gallegos was one of our best, if not our best relievers last year. So I'm going to go with Giovanni right there. Um, don't really know too much about most of the guys in this round. Travis Jankowski, uh, I feel like if I had to choose one, it would maybe be him. I could also just go to the starting pitcher because it's a bronze round. That's kind of what we've been doing a little bit, you know. Common round, yeah. I'm going the starting pitcher here in that common round. I think that makes it a little bit better. Oh, man. Yo, that's... Okay, this is a tough one. For me, it's... Be, I mean, like, I'm sure Royals what was exciting and everything. For me, it's between Dietrich and Hunter Pence. Like, I, I've been... I've, be, I've begun to really like watching Dietrich play and everything like that i think he had an interview in spring training talking about uh talking about some stuff that was fun to watch but i feel like hunter pence is the choice for me here as much as i would love dietrich in this round in a normal draft i feel like hunter pence for me at least is the most exciting in this round and part of it is just because if y'all have seen him play right he looks so awkward sometimes playing the game but he does well so it's fun to watch him Dietrich hit some bombs some tanks so that's always fun to watch but overall I would say uh Hunter Pence for me right there hmm hmm this is one where I'm interested to see what you guys would say because for me I'm going to win Merrifield I only have righties in my lineup for me I'm going win Merrifield and I just I don't know man is Liam Hendricks more exciting to watch this is one where I need your help and I'm interested to see what y'all would have said James Shields, a starting pitcher. Um, low key, I almost want to go Dallas Keiko. I feel like he's kind of fallen off a bit, but like when he he had a Cy Young season, right? And I feel like that was super exciting, and it just it was always kind of electric when he was pitching. I'm going. I know it, it's a silver round of starting pitcher, but I'm going. Uh, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Dallas Keiko right there. Uh, I feel like Brandon Belt's a little bit low-key, but I feel like Kurt Suzuki is too. Hmm. Man, this is another tough one. I'm interested to see what you guys say here as well. I'm going to be going with... 
Kurt Suzuki on the on, on the Nationals, man. World Series team. I'm going with Kurt Suzuki right there. The, oh, easily Luke Voigt here. Easily Luke Voigt in that round. Um, let's say Justin Wilson. Okay, let's do that. AJ Ramos, I feel like, is pretty fun to watch sometimes. Has some good movement on his pitches. Let's see. Not really 100% sure right here. Uh... Yeah, I don't really know if I'm going to be honest. Let's go AJ Cole. Probably a bad decision there. Ooh. I'm going to go with Craig Kimbrell. Maybe that's a dumb decision here, but I'm going to go with Craig Kimbrell. I feel like he's the most exciting in that round. Oh, definitely Jeff Bellevue, man. I love watching him play. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know, man. Dexter Fowler. It's exciting to watch how poorly he's performing, and it's fun to see that and wish she would do better right and 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 just it's always exciting hanging on the to the edge of my seat and, and being on the edge of my seat and everything and just sitting there super excited right waiting for him to finally break out of it and start just killing the ball being the superstar he, he is so we're going dexter fowler right there um not really sure about these lower two rounds sometimes doing this has made me realize that i probably need to watch more baseball than i do uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, oh man. Easily Mike Stanton. Easily Mike Stanton. And then AJ Reed. AJ Reed. We'll go with that. That was weird. I expected it to go a little bit differently than it actually went. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that draft. And I hope you guys enjoyed this game as we try to start 1-0 with the team. And I'm interested to hear picks that you would have made differently than me because I'm sure there's a lot of players that you know more about than I do. We're playing the Kokomo Wildcats. Our opponent has Hunter Renfro, 84 D. Gordon, 95 Josh Bell. That's a good card, man. Babe Ruth, Paul DeYoung, Rafael Devers, Ramon Laureano, Omar Navias. We both have silvers on the mound. That's kind of cool. I like that. Roark versus Dallas Keuchel. We're the home team. Hopefully having an exciting game here today i'm not gonna lie that's something that's not super exciting to see as someone with a 12 and 0 nameplate in my first game for battle royale we know miguel sano is that gold glove defender over there at third base what's interesting to me and what is something i'm curious about okay is our opponent has a 12 and 0 nameplate and going 12 and 0 is not easy to do and i'm gonna be the show three inning games all-star difficulty man it's tough you need to play well you probably need to get a little bit lucky as well and it's just it's not easy to do right you have to be i would say at least decent at the game right probably above average at the game to be going 12 and 0 in my opinion and it's curious because our opponent has a silver reliever on the mound so maybe did they just get unlucky with their draft were they doing a theme i'm, I'm curious to ooh. got away with one there i'm curious to see or to know why they maybe have a silver on the mound. It's just kind of interesting. I just realized as we have Kurt Suzuki, my catcher, leading off. I didn't set my lineup. So this is the I didn't set my lineup challenge. And also the exciting players draft. As I strike out for round number one. What a pitch. Painting the corner. Dotting up the corner. What a dot to strike out 99, babe. Out number one here, top of the second. We had a one, two, three, bottom of the first inning. Dallas Keuchel doing pretty well for me today. Paul Dion coming up. I'm hoping to take the lead in the bottom of the second. As Paul Dion gets the first hit of the game. I don't think we allowed a hit in the first. We definitely didn't have one in the bottom of the first. And with one down, we're going to try to maybe get a double play and get out of the inning. Rafael Devers to the left fielder making the play. Beautiful. I bring Craig Kimberlay in first pitch he throws. Gives the other team the lead. Not very surprised by that. Oh, wait. Hey, man, if we fielded that quicker off the wall, got it in quicker, we might have had him at home. He wasn't uh, getting around those bases super fast. Maybe I should have brought in Giovanni Gallegos before Craig Kimbrell. But we're going to try to get out of the inning now. There we go. We got out of the inning. Oh, let's see if Acuna can make an exciting one-handed catch. And he does. One-handed grab by Acuna in center field. That is just insane. That's so exciting. Bo Bichette. Getting it over the head of Babe. That's pretty exciting. As he's in there with the one-out double. Bottom of the second inning. We're going to do our best to drive him in now. Eloy Jimenez. Advancing the runner. Back-to-back -back hits. We have runners on the corners. And Acuna hits it hard. Straight to that third baseman, though. For round number two, 
Let's go ahead and see how hard it was off the bat. 107. Yeah, he crushed that. Hunter Pence drives in the run. Let's go. We tie it. One to one here. Bottom of the second. Mike Stanton with the three run. No doubter. Four to one. Here in the bottom of the second. And there it is, baby. Our last, probably last, rage quit of MLB The Show 19. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye, Brock. GG's, man. Uh, I'll take it, you know? I, I would prefer to not have my opponent quit so that I could get a picture for the thumbnail easily. But we'll figure out a way to do it, man. We always do. That was fun. It was exciting. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias. Man, we're getting close. We're getting so close to MLB 20. I'm so happy. I cannot wait. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.